Welcome to Fix Your Paint Schemes, where I take a motorsport paint scheme that you guys recommend, and I fix them. So, uh, fix Marco Andretti's career. Well, while that's not a, that's not a paint job or a, or a livery, I, you know, I am a giver, so we're going to start things out with some charity work. So, I'm going to just take Marco's head, and I'm going to place it on top of a nice Uber driver. I think Paul Tracy a while back thought, you know, maybe maybe Marco could go there if his career flopped one day. So that's what we're gonna do. Fixing fixing Andretti's career, he's just gonna be an Uber driver. It's really that simple. Not that hard of a fix, and I can write this off on my taxes. So just gonna do a little cleanup, a race around uh, to make it look pretty realistic. I think this is something we could probably see in the future. So there you go, Marco Andretti, fix your career, man. Enjoy. Fix Joey Logano's 22 car, it's been the same for a long time. Yeah, I do agree, it's been the same paint job for probably five or six years now. So, you know, normally, for Penske cars, they kind of just change the color, the, the base paint job stays the same. Um, but they, they just flip the colors around. I'm not going to do that, because I think that's kind of played out. But what I am going to do is not re- not change the paint scheme, but I'm going to open the door for future paint scheme designers, and I think they're they're kind of locked in place by the sponsor Shell Pennzoil. So so we're going to get rid of Shell Pennzoil, or at least keep the Shell logo. I'm going to use part of that. But I think this is going to open a lot of doors for different paint jobs in the future because maybe these sponsors will now drop out. Um, after after they read this message on the side of Logano's car. Uh, and this isn't, keep in mind, this isn't coming from me. This is just something that, you know, Joey Logano would probably say, and he probably thinks about this all the time. So, yeah, just add a little text, and boom, fixed your, fixed your paint job, Joey Logano. Fixed Jimmy Johnson's Lowe's for Pros car. Now, I kind of like this car. I think it looks cool. But I think Lowe's for Pros is a little bit too non-user friendly so i want to change lows for pros to something else something that'll make you you know kind of i mean it'll be understandable if 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 you don't know what you're doing with uh construction i I know my my father is very anyway so we're going to change it to lows for plebs and now i think this car looks nice but i also think they need to just commit and make it look like a test car so we're just going to make the whole thing black um just do away with any sort of you know, interesting decaling or anything, just make it black, you know, a seven-time champion, who needs sponsors when you just got a plain black, you know, he's the intimidator, you know, so it's looking pretty good, I think, I think that's a fix, I think that's success, I, I did put a little your logo here on the quarter panel just because they are kind of strapped for sponsorship, but anyway, fix Casey Kane's paint scheme, it's way too good, I agree, Casey Kane in the 95 scheme, I, I just, man, I feel like I've seen this somewhere before, though. Yeah, no, okay, so I'm fixing... I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, slightly change the design. You just change the color a little bit. Not gonna do away with too much. Gonna add a couple of new logos. And just add a couple stripes and stuff. And, you know, you know, it's, I think it looks pretty good. I, I don't think we've ever seen this on track before or anything. I hope Casey Kane enjoys this. Um... Yeah, uh, I don't see anything wrong with that. Fixed your car, Casey Kane. Fix Kyle Busch's 2017 Snickers car. Now, again, there's not much I can do to fix this. It's a pretty good car. But one thing I want to do is, you know how Snickers does really funny, goofy, you know, uh, sayings on the side of their Snickers bars. Well, I want to I wanna find one of those and uh, just, just kind of slap it on there. Uh, so, so uh, Daddy's Little Girl. Fix your car, Kyle Busch. <laughs> Fix Kurt Busch's 41 Monster Haas car. All right, well, see, I really like this car as well, but what I want to do is take away this Monster Energy logo because it is just obscene. We can't have little kids even knowing that Monster Energy exists, even though they're the title sponsor of the series and aren't afraid to shove, the, shove an ad down your throat every five seconds. But that's, you know, we can't have little kids knowing that Monster exists. So... Yeah, we're just going to replace it with maybe like an honest product slogan to turn away the new generation. So there we go. And uh, it's a little nod to Double E Dude, who did a little sketch. Anyway, fix your paint job, Kurt Busch. Woo, it's like battery acid for your throat. Yeah. Fix Chase Elliott's 
2018 car. All right. Well, hmm. I mean, it does look kind of plain, so I think I'm just going to add this little thing right in in the in the little area where there's not a whole lot of stuff going on. And now look at that. The car just looks way better. Fixed it. Fixed Graham Ray Hall's Steak and Shake. Unfortunately, Steak and Shake did drop Graham Ray Hall, so it kind of sucks, and I feel really bad for him. But, um, what exactly... What, Hmm. What number does does Graham Ray Hall drive? Hold on. Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus, but as it turns out, that might be what you get. A 4chaner uploaded a photo anonymously to the site showcasing his feet in a plastic bin of lettuce with the statement, This is the lettuce you eat at Burger King. Admittedly, he had shoes on. But that's even worse. And just for good measure, add a Burger King logo. Boom, fixed it. Fix Kenny Schrader's 2003 car. Now, this is a classic. This is a pretty great paint scheme. But you know what I want to do is, you know how they have like throwbacks, throwback paint schemes? What I want to do is I want to do a throw forward paint scheme. So we're just going to make it all black. And now, this paint scheme is a tribute to one of the greatest NASCAR dri drivers of all time, Wendell Chavis. Fix William Byron's 2018. Now, this, this is a pretty nice paint scheme, but look how disappointed Jeff Gordon is. So I think, yeah, I've fixed the paint scheme. Fix Ryan Blaney's Menards car yet. Yeah, now, I, I'm a sucker for Menards schemes. I think they look really nice, but oh, oh gosh, it's, it's way too bright. So ah, it hurts my eyes just looking at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, pull out my nice, a nice pair of sunglasses or something to uh, maybe just shield your eyes so you can really appreciate the beauty of the paint scheme um so yeah there you go fix your fix your uh fix your eyes finally fix jimmy johnson's throwback for this year speaking of throwbacks but uh you know this again it's not that bad i think it's cool but i want to bring back that seafoam green color that that he ran a couple times in 2013 i think now his car is going to look like mint chocolate chip or something but, you know, I think it's a pretty good car. I do want to add another little thing on the quarter panel. Anyway, looks pretty good. Fixed it, Jimmy Johnson. If you have any other paint schemes you want me to fix, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll do that. I'm going to get better at editing these so that they don't suck as much. Anyway, hope you have a good day. Drive safe. Give me your paint jobs so I can fix them. All right. Love you. I'm rambling.